It takes just three days to reach the moon from Earth. And once there, less than two seconds for communications to make the journey home. On the moon, we have the natural resources needed to sustain a long-term human presence. All of this makes it the ideal base for missions further into space. Blasted by solar winds, extreme temperatures and micrometeorites, the lunar surface is a hazardous environment. Robots and autonomous systems will be needed to help humans build a self-sustaining base. Fortunately, many of the raw materials required to construct this lasting human presence can be found on the moon itself. The location of the lunar base has been chosen for access to these essential materials. A promising area was identified by prospecting spacecraft and followed by robotic scouts dispatched to verify the quantity and quality of the resources. Lunar water can be collected by melting regolith or vaporizing ice known to exist in the permanent shadows of the moon's craters. Solar radiation directed by solar concentrators, heats the frozen ground so the valuable water, deposited there by comet impacts and preserved in the perpetual icy cold shadows, can be collected. The water is used for life support and irrigation of crops grown in greenhouses to feed lunar inhabitants. The elements that make up water are used to create lunar fuel cells and rocket propellant, drastically cutting the cost of onward missions into deep space, as well as creating viable markets for space resources products. Lunar regolith, the layer of dust and rock covering almost the entire surface of the moon, is used to construct and protect much of the moon base, including housing, roads, and landing pads. It contains many essential elements and can be refined to extract those needed to build and maintain the base. Solar panels, glass, metal tools, electronics, and building materials, such as lunar concrete. The moon is the logical next frontier our stepping stone to the natural resources available on asteroids, Mars, and across the solar system. As well as reducing the cost and improving the viability of exploration missions, use of space resources will create major socio-economic benefits for humankind in many areas of science and technology. Luxembourg is the center in Europe for space resources. We are working with the European Space Agency and international partners to encourage the scientists, engineers, entrepreneurs and lawyers to develop the framework and building blocks for the space resources value chain. Each of these building blocks will be crucial to make the utilization of space resources a reality. The pioneers of tomorrow's space industry are busy today anticipating the needs of a fair and sustainable space-based economy. The foundations of the first moon base may not be laid for another decade, but preparations are well underway. Soon, we will look up at the night sky and see ourselves looking back.